Hey, um... Hey! Hey, old Batman here. Would you like to win a contest based on me? Batman! But old. It has prizes and they have really big prizes. I mean, they're huge. They're like if Clayface could make Really big balls of balls. And they're big, big prizes. You could win one of my first adventures as an old Batman guy. The Dark Knight Returns. Written by old now, but young Frank Miller. When he wasn't old and weird. Next, a book that no... Old Batman or young Batman fan could be without my 100 greatest moments. As told by this book, sometimes I find myself looking in this book and going, I remember that! You also win a copy of Deck Tekiv Comics. Deck. Oh! Det Tekiv. Det. Bat. Man, debt equitive. Batman debt equitive comics. One zero zero zero. It looks it's got me on there. When I was young and full of sack, you also win an adventure with me and not Dick, but this annoying little bastard. Apparently, he came out of my dick. Ha ha ha. I kill me. You go and win the old Batman contest. What? You did not tell them how to win the contest or where to go. Oh. Well. You gonna, you, you gonna do that? Well, that was me, everybody. That was old Batman. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Laps Comic Fan. I'm Steve, and today we're talking Power Rangers number three. So if you like the show, if you like what we do here, uh, we just did a live stream on Saturday. That was a lot of fun. It was all about DC. Go check it out. But if you like what we're doing, subscribe if you'd like to. Hit the like button and share with all your friends. We left off on the Power Rangers with Tommy kind of being a little bit snippy with Jason. There was a little bit of uh, trouble in paradise. But uh, he ends up passing out at the end. He, he, he's sick of all this annoying nagging. But, you know, Reed has been appearing to him in hallucinations, and he's not doing so hot. So, that's where we left off. Let's see where this comic takes us. It's gonna be real good. There's a lot of cool shit in this one, guys. Let's go. The comic starts off with Rita's comic relief, Squat and Babu, in what looks like to be one of Rita's pocket dimensions or prisons. Uh, kinda looks like where she kept the Green Ranger in the TV show, and where Jason fought Goldar and the Green Ranger at different times. Well, it seems I have a guest. Welcome back. Goldar is there and asks if Rita sent them, and she didn't. Apparently, she put Goldar there, and he feels he will never be released because he failed her when he lost the Green Ranger. We cut to Tommy waking up in his house with his mother and not the command center or the Rangers. She's relieved to see him awake and mentions his friends were there and they wanted to stay, but she sent them home. She's happy that he met such good friends and Power Rangers, no less. She says it's okay, she knows, and she admires what he's trying to do and thinks it's noble. But it's okay if he decides to quit, and she wouldn't think less of him since he's no hero. Tommy's confused, and his mother starts to rip her flesh off to reveal Rita. And she's saying she loves him and is the only one who's ever loved him. Tommy screams and wakes up in the command center. It was a dream, a nightmare. The rangers tell him what happened, that he passed out, and Kim offers him some water. They think it could be related to the Scorpina attack, and Trini wants to run a scan on him since his heart rate was through the roof. Zordon agrees. 
but Rita knows he's breaking. So the comic starts off with Squat and Babu, the, you know, the comedy relief for Rita's team, the Bulk and Skull of Rita's team, even though that's a affront to Bulk and Skull. I should never have said that. They're not. They're, they're more like the, the, the comedy stupid people or things, whatever. Um, they're, they're in this dark dimension. It almost looks like the prison or the place that uh, Rita held the Green Ranger for a while or where Jason fought Goldar and the Green Ranger, that little pocket dimension she has. And Goldar's there, and he he just looking off into the distance, and Squat and Babu are afraid to approach him. And we find out that he has been sent there by Rita for failing. My queen will never let me, you know, live this down or let me go. And so Goldar's been there. It's kind of interesting to see how she treats certain people in her regime. <laughs> Tommy's awake at his mom's house, and... He's kind of confused, like, uh, thinking, like, where did everybody go? And she's like, oh, your friends left. They're so nice. You know, we just want you to heal up and be in Power Rangers, too. And he's like, uh, what? And she's like, I know. I know. If you want to give up, Tommy, because you're a stupid little failure, go right ahead. And then she just starts ripping her skin off. And I was like, what is happening? And it was obviously Rita. And not only is he having hallucinations, he's having nightmares now. I mean, it's, it's totally infected his mind. It's taken him over. Whatever this is happening to him, whether it's a spell, I don't think so. I think it's just playing on his self-doubt and things that have affected him terribly. I think that's what they're giving to us in the comic book. But it was Rita, and she's just telling him how she's the only one that loves him. The only time that he was good was with her. You know, just totally playing on he, he's nothing. Tommy wakes up and he's in the command center and I think the rangers are just like yo what the hell man they kind of tell him what happened and Trini's like we should probably run some tests on him Zordon agrees he's kind of freaked out his heart rates up he doesn't really know what's going on but he still has not told them what's going on and I think that's what we're supposed to see here that he's not trusting them so how could they ever trust him in his brain? You know, that, that whole scenario. He's, he's not willing to give up. He thinks he can handle it on his own. He's not willing to give up that information yet. Rita explains that even though she's not linked to the Green Ranger anymore, the Chaos Crystal is. And even if Scorpina didn't get the Green Power Coin or the Dragon Dagger back, she pushed Tommy to his limit in battle, and they should have enough Chaos Energy to enact the final part of their plan by opening a portal to where we don't know yet. Scorpina asks Rita that she thought they needed the Dragon Dagger. Rita thinks that they only need a Dragon Dagger. So Finster uses a dead putty and pours molten metal into it and Rita begins a spell. So finally, that crystal that I told you guys to keep in the back of your mind. So she has the Chaos Crystal, Rita, and Scorpina's kind of like, Oh, I'm sorry, I failed you. And she's like, no, 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 no. You know, yeah, you didn't get the coin, but you pushed him to his limit, which is powering this crystal right here. And it's enough energy to enact the final part of our plan. Scorpion's like, I didn't get the coin, I didn't get the dagger. She's like, it's still all right. I didn't say we need the dragon dagger. I said we need a dragon dagger. So I was like, all right, they're playing it fast and loose here because we didn't know the plan. We just knew she had to get the shit back. So she gets Finster over... And he has like a half putty and they're bringing him over. And I guess he made a mold of the dagger and pours metal in there. She starts, Rita starts doing an incantation on it. And supposedly they got their dragon dagger. So Trini is running some tests on Tommy. Uh, and she starts talking to him about things like where he grew up and getting to know him better. And she asks him, she's like, hey, I got a weird question for you. Do you remember any of the stuff that happened when you were under her spell? And Tommy just gives her a look, right? And out of nowhere, there's this giant thud. And they're like, holy shit, what happened? The two make it outside to see the Dragon Zord laying waste to the command center. And Tommy didn't even summon it this time, so this is pretty crazy. They morph, and Tommy can't teleport into the Dragon Zord. Trini calls her saber to Tiger to engage with the Dragon Zord, but it's no match. Tommy takes out his dagger and starts to play the song of the dragon. And the Zord's attention is turned towards him for a second. It thinks almost looking as if it recognizes him, but instead of calming it down, the dragon sword goes in for the kill. Tommy wakes up, he's passed out again. No time has passed at all, it's a dream, but seems so real. Trini calms Tommy down and has to take a look at his scan, and uh, she's surprised by what she sees. 
So again, Tommy is having crazy dreams. We just we just saw it here. He's you know getting these tests done in the command center by Trini and the they hear a loud noise. They run out there. The dragon zord's there. He's like, oh my god. You know, it, it, for him, it, he thinks this is real. This just cannot be getting worse for him. And Trini's like, did you call for? Me? He's like, I, I didn't do it. I I didn't do anything. So she calls her saber tooth tiger and the two start fighting it's no match for him tommy takes out his dagger starts playing the and it turns towards him but it, it it looks like it has an effect on him no it just goes in for the kill and that's when he wakes up and trini's trying to calm him down but she also looks at his scan and is like oh so something is wrong here not only is the dude just freaking out having like passing out having dreams, having hallucinations. The, the, the Rita effect has got a, a giant hold on him. And while they're sitting there thinking all about this, because it's going to come out, you know it is. It has to come out. And Tommy has this vision of the Dragon Zord. So he's completely confused. Everything is a mess for the Rangers right now, for the reader. Might not look that way for them. They have suspicions. But for us, the reader, we're just like, oh my god, dude, this can't, this can... It's just getting worse, and she's got a green chaos crystal, whatever that does. And apparently she's made a dragon dagger. So one thing leads to another, and I think you could see where we're going from here. Back at the command center, the rangers are gathered, and Trini is showing them Tommy's scan. She shows a comparison to Jason, who has a normal power signature, and then she shows Tommy's, which is a lot bigger in power, and as Billy points out, weirdest of all, it's not tied to the morphing grid like the other Power Rangers and shouldn't have such a discrepancy. Zordon says it could be his body getting used to the powers, but Zack chimes in and asks if it could be Rita's doing. Kim gets a tad offended and says Tommy would have told them if anything was up. This is where Tommy finally speaks up and tells the truth about having the hallucinations. Zack is pissed and wants to know what Rita says to him, and Jason wants to know why he didn't tell them sooner or trust them. Tommy really doesn't have any answers except he was trying to handle it. Before they can get into it, the alarm goes off and the viewing globe shows the Dragon Zord. And Tommy's like, oh no, his dream. We see Scorpina telling Reader that the dagger Finster made and the Chaos Crystal charged with the green energy has given her full control of the Dragon Zord. Rita tells her to destroy everything. So back at the command center, uh, Trini's talking about Tommy's scan and, and kind of shows a scan of Jason and how the energy looks and you see Tommy's and it's a lot bigger more scattered and Billy's like wow this isn't even like ours is not connected to the morphing grid and it just shows how much they don't know about these Green Ranger powers they just don't know so Zach's like could this be Rita the only sensible one now he is a little bit like dickish because he doesn't know Tommy he's made that abundantly clear but he, he's right. Could this be connected to Rita? The only one to defend Tommy is Kimberly because she's, you know, it seems like she's in love with him or has interest in him at least. She's like, look, it can't be him or it can't be her. It's She doesn't have the power coin. You know, the powers didn't come from her. And she's like, and Tommy would tell us anyway. So Jason's like, Tommy? And this is where Tommy finally tells them about Rita. First, Tommy's like, you know, I'm having hallucinations. And Zach's like, what does she say to you? <laughs> like not you're wow you're freaking out you're having hallucinations what is she saying to you dude because he's convinced i think that he's not on their side he's not telling them the truth you know they're they're the goody two shoes as it is i'm sure they don't think that of themselves but they're the ones that always do right that's how tommy feels and he he's not telling them everything and they don't really know him and zach's like dude this is bullshit this is crazy Jason wants to know why you didn't tell him sooner. And, you know, we can't trust you if you don't trust us. Tommy keeps trying to say, I was trying to handle it because I didn't really know what was going on. And Tommy's in the wrong here. As much as I want to be behind him because I, I like the character and I he's the one right now that's getting the most development. And it's like, you want to be behind him, but you can't because... If you're going to be on a team, you should, and especially the way that you got your powers and the way that everything happened, because Zach, they had this conversation earlier in a diner where Zach was basically like, look, the way he got his powers, you just don't pick a person like that. Why did she pick him? You know, and it, he made a lot of valid points, but 
Tommy's not telling them anything about this, and it's kind of suspicious. You know, could he be there to infiltrate them? That's probably what Zach is thinking. We know he's not, and he's been trying to get, you know, handle it and get her out of his mind. But right whenever they're starting to get to the meat of everything, the viewing globe goes off and the alarm goes off. And what they see is the dragon sword. And Tommy's like, oh no. And he's thinking of his dream like shit. We, the reader, get to see what's actually happening with the dragon sword underwater. Scorpina's in it. The crystal and the dagger worked. And they show this couple out on a yacht. And it's a really great picture at the end. You see this the nice couple and everything. And you see the, the dragon sword's face like right underneath the water. And Reed is telling Scorpina to destroy everything. So stuff is popping off right now. I'm assuming the next issue is going to be crazy because Scorpina is going to try to wreck everything. And what do you guys think about this development with the character? I think Tommy is focused very heavy. It kind of does take away from the other characters because they're rely I think they're relying on people who have watched the show for this. And obviously that's who this comic is made for. But I, with knowing the characters and have watching the show, I relate to this very easily. It's, it's very fun to read. They're very quick chapters. They, they move a lot of story ahead. And I, I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm enjoying it. So what do you guys think is going to happen next? Do you think they're going to be able to trust Tommy? Do you think Tommy's going to be working for Rita? Or do you think he's finally going to overcome these hallucinations and, you know, become part of the team? So... Yeah, it's crazy, man. I, I'm digging this. I like it a lot. But, hey guys, that's it for this week. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Uh, Silver Surfer comes out on the 30th, so I will be doing the third issue of that. But I've, I've been reading so much stuff, guys. So I wanted to read all the back DC events like Dark Knight's Metal. So I read everything up to leading up to Metal. I read Metal, every issue, even the tie-ins. And I read the Batman Who Laughs 1 through 7. And I read Superman Batman Infected. I'm in the middle of Scott Snyder's Justice League going into Death Metal. And I will say this. I, I'm kind of glad I missed the Batman Who Laughs whole thing. Like, I was, I was back into comics when it came out. But, like, I was doing so much back reading from missing all those years. I'm kind of glad that I missed. Because, dude... I would have been so into it because I love Batman, but my God, does that guy talk? He just talks all the time. Just, it's just words everywhere. And it's like, dude, can you just do something? And then there's an everybody who laughs. I read the infected and it was just the Superman who laughs, the, 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 the Shazam who laughs, the everybody who laughs. And I'm like, that's why I was kind of glad I missed it. Because DC, when something is good, in one era like dark knight's metal it was cool it was cool to see and snyder does write him the best but it was like they're like haha the who laughs we're going to make everybody laugh <laughs> and i was just like oh. it was almost a chore to get through but there was some really great stuff i'm very much looking forward to death metal because i had read a couple issues of that and it was just totally bonkers but I'm thinking about doing some more Marvel stuff. I do have a ton of Marvel. Uh, I'm thinking about actually doing the X-Men uh, Age of Apocalypse. I'm thinking about doing two issues at a time. There's 26 issues, so that would be 13 episodes. And, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you guys want me to do more Marvel or stick with more DC, um, the Marvel shows would probably be more intense i would say because i don't know as much about marvel i don't have the history with the characters like don't get me wrong i've read a lot of marvel but nothing like i've read with dc i'm a little bit more comfortable in that world of dc i know the characters i kind of know more about them so let me know what you guys think if there's something that you would like me to read or like me to continue if you'd like me to continue doing moon knight from 2021 i have no problem doing that i have all the issues so just let me know in the comments what you would like and hey like and subscribe, please. Let's get this channel going, guys. I would really like to do that. I'll make so many more videos if you want me to. Just let me know something. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Old Batman for Prez. He can make it work.
I remember that. It looks, it's got me on there. When I was young and full of sack. <laughs>